40 years ago, if you were to ask somebody what the future of transportation is going to look like, they might tell you it would be flying cars. But right now, in 2022, if you might ask what the future of transportation will look like by the year 2050, people might think of point-to-point -point suborbital flights. But if that is the case, what would be the future of transportation then? Humans always wanted to get from one place to another, but the only option for the early humans was to use their legs. But then, we evolved from that to using animals like horses to travel, and then we had the internal combustion engine which completely changed the way we looked at transportation. Today, our transportation systems evolved so well that we have a variety of ways to get from one place to another, like railways, waterways, and airways. Soon, we might even have point-to-point -point suborbital flights that might completely get rid of airplanes because so many private space companies are now considering faster means of travel with reusable rockets, especially the ones that SpaceX is working on today. Most of our wild ideas and futuristic transportation come from sci-fi movies, and one among them happens to be flying cars. But the future of transportation will be more about smarter sources of energy, advanced modes of transport, and physical and technological infrastructure that will support these gigantic transportation innovations. But the common theme when it comes to innovation in transportation would be smart technology, electrification, and autonomy, all thanks what Tesla is doing with their electric cars. So what exactly are the futuristic transportation vehicles that you could expect by 2025? 3. Autonomous Aerial Vehicles Well, we might not have flying cars, but we definitely have aerial vehicles that are completely autonomous, which means they can fly by themselves without any human intervention. We already have successful demonstration flights of several autonomous aerial vehicles. Today, we already have drones that are generally used in situations where manned flight is considered too risky or difficult. The autonomous aerial vehicles could be a version of flying cars we often talk about when it comes to futuristic transportation. But these would be fully autonomous human-carrying drones that are designed for transporting passengers. The best way for you to understand this would be helicopters without the pilot. These vehicles will be using vertical takeoff and landing through horizontal rotors, which means they do not require any runway. Commuters can get into these autonomous aerial vehicles if they don't want to get stuck in traffic and can directly reach their destination. And this way, they'll be able to cut traveling times. But we are still not sure whether this is going to be practical considering the advancement that we have with autonomous vehicles, which brings us to the next set of vehicles. That is, well, you guessed it right, self-driving electric vehicles. 2. Self-driving all-electric vehicles the World Health Organization found that ambient air pollution, especially the ones from vehicles, is causing premature deaths and diseases all around the world. We already have Level 2 self-driving with Teslas today, and Tesla is a company that is looking forward to developing fully autonomous vehicles, and the future of personal transportation will be changed forever. But how exactly is that possible? Well, right now, fully autonomous cars may still be constrained to testing environments and pilot projects. Yes, we have some of them on the road today, but their presence is not widely established because they are still under development. When companies perfect autonomous vehicles, they could implement autonomy into cargo trucks, taxis, buses, and even railways. The best part about autonomous vehicles would be the fact that these futuristic vehicles will be able to communicate with each other with smart infrastructure and the Internet of Things. These machines will also be able to communicate with customers through a mobile application. This way, the entire process of transportation will be streamlined and companies that deal with autonomous vehicles will be able to gather massive amounts of data to improve the driving efficiency while taking passengers from one place to another. The growth of cities, socio-economic changes and demographic shifts will result in a massive comeback of mass transit, forcing major cities to upgrade their infrastructure. By 2050, sales of electric vehicles will reach about 62 million units per year with the global stock of 700 million electric vehicles, which means that in terms of total vehicle sales, EVs will account for more than 56% of the global market, outpacing internal combustion engines which would be constituting the remaining 44%. But this transaction will only be possible if we have drastic changes in the infrastructure, especially when charging stations become more common than gas stations by 2050. This will contribute to the growing use of renewable energy and smart grid technology. By 2050, you could also expect more than 49% of global electricity to come from renewable sources of energy, followed by natural gas, which is about 23%, coal, which is another 23%, and nuclear, which is another 5%. 1. Hyperloop 
But what if we told you that you could travel even faster, that too, in an ultra-high-speed ground transportation system? Well, we are talking about the Hyperloop. This is a concept that was proposed by Elon Musk, who happens to be the celebrity CEO of both Tesla and SpaceX. So, how exactly is Hyperloop going to change the way we look at transportation? Well, for that, you need to understand what the Hyperloop is and how it works. A Hyperloop is an ultra-high-speed ground transportation system for passengers and cargo, and the system consists of sealed and partially evacuated tubes connecting mobility hubs in large metropolitan areas, and you could also travel in these specialized vehicles called pods, which are capable of moving at very high speeds all thanks to contactless levitation and propulsion systems along with low aerodynamic drag. With the Hyperloop system, travel time for a distance of about 200 to 1,500 kilometers, or about 1,250 to 1,000 miles distance, can be significantly reduced compared to the current transportation systems that we have already. The best part about Hyperloop is that the entire thing is fully electric, which means the system is looking forward to being climate neutral. The Hyperloop is also flexible because the Hyperloop route can be both above and below the ground, depending on so many factors. Once Hyperloop becomes a reality, it might entirely replace railway systems that we know today, and instead you would be traveling in capsules that will travel at high speeds over long distances, which is an exciting future to be a part of. But why exactly are we rethinking the future of transportation? Well, nobody likes to be in traffic and we spend most of our lives stuck in traffic, which is very unproductive and it does cost the global economy hundreds of billions of dollars annually because of building roads, rails, and other necessary infrastructure. Most of these transportation systems do not work together seamlessly, which contributes to a lot of delays. Overdependence on fossil fuels is something that you need to blame as transportation happens to be the major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. And you know that greenhouse gases are responsible for climate change, and it will soon pose a risk to human health and safety of our own planet. Maybe Elon Musk was right about making humans a multi-planetary species, especially if we continue to burn fossil fuels for our transportation. Soon, we might need to relocate to Mars. But again, that involves a lot of risks, and it involves a lot of money. So in order to fix all the issues that we caused with our current modes of transportation, the only way for futuristic transportation to be better than the ones that we use today would be by using clean energy with advanced electric vehicle infrastructure by 2050. Hyperloops and high-speed trains will be a very common sight. You might also get smart highways and transit systems, and most importantly, you will be getting point-to-point -point suborbital flights in the near future that would ultimately replace airplanes in the future. When autonomous cars become mainstream, ride-sharing platforms will definitely be able to completely get rid of drivers. This way, the entire costs of transportation would be reduced, and we could also see a huge decrease in the number of accidents that take place on our roads. This means that so many lives will be saved and people can travel safely because everything will be controlled by artificial intelligence and our vehicles will be completely autonomous. It is also believed that the individual ownership of cars globally will decrease significantly over the coming decades. According to a 29 study done by automotive data company Canadian Black Book, the study reveals that in Canada alone, 35% of Canadians aged 18 to 34 plan to reduce their household fleet over the next two years and 41% of that same age group plan to do so in the next 10 years. New mobility services and the high cost of vehicle ownership force commuters to look for other alternative options. Today, that is the reason why we have Uber and so many other ride-sharing companies that provide services for people who don't need to actually own a car to get from one place to another. The success of Tesla is forcing so many other auto manufacturers to cater to the ever-growing demand for electric vehicles globally. So, it makes a lot of sense for all of these legacy auto manufacturers to incorporate EVs into their existing lineup and also invest in mobility research and development. The future of transportation is definitely going to be defined by three zeros. Zero emissions, zero accidents, and zero ownership. And right now, the most powerful tool for personal transportation would be your smartphone. This is just the beginning of a huge shift in the way we look at transportation. Big data, the Internet of Things, and zero emission technologies will change everything we know about transportation by offering cleaner and more efficient methods of transportation. Yes, cars are not going to go anywhere, but the way how your cars are powered and the way how they are purchased, rented, or leased will definitely change, especially with more autonomous driving features that we have with modern-day vehicles. So the future of transportation is looking extremely bright, but at the same time, it will also accommodate the needs of humans to own a private vehicle 
which is good news for all those car enthusiasts out there.